Who could actually be redeemed? Part 11 of 11. On Between Master and Disciples. On July 30, 2020. Yesterday, I wanted to tell you, if you have any provocative kind of question, just ask me, you know, like uh, criticizing me, stuff like that, just to see how I react. (laughs) 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 But I forgot to tell you, because I have to do many things, you know, already, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have to be my own housekeeper, my own laundry man, my own makeup artist, my own dress selector, and... Uh, my own hairdresser, even though it didn't look very much of the of, of a hairdressing, but I had to do it myself. <laughs> yeah, and I, in the retreat, I didn't even uh, dye it blonde even. Couldn't care less anymore. I still look beautiful, tell me. Yes, yes you look beautiful, Master. Yeah, I believe you, of course. Yeah. That's true, Master. <laughs> you take the 5%, you don't tell lie, right? No, we're yes. not lying. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, the tech brother, they, they make me look good also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, or maybe they just choose where I look good, you know? The image is where I look good, then they choose it. And the rest, they just uh, discard it somewhere. Mm-hmm. Couldn't care less, you know? Yeah. If people in the future generation, they happen to dig out our archives and look at my face, they say, whoa. <laughs> what a difference. <laughs> who Who is this one? Who is this one? Must be her elder sister. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, who okay, cares? My God. It's all fake anyway. It's all illusion. Ah, all right then. The tree can talk also. They talk to me. Yeah. Oh. If you quiet down, you know, and uh, you continue practicing, then... then uh, I mean, except us. You know, we work for nothing, yeah? Just for food. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, if they don't have a karma to get married or children and all that, just have a simple job, they can always go inward mm-hmm. yeah, whenever, yeah. To live alone, you can control your life easier. Yeah. Yes. And you don't be influenced by anything, by other partner, or karma or their own opinion, sometimes their opinion is lower than you, and then they drag you down also, yeah? Yes. <laughs> but if you are just single and have just a, a normal job, and then uh, in the free time you just eat your meal, and then you meditate and live your life as simple as possible, then you will be more and more in tune with everything, mm-hmm. more in tune with nature, mm-hmm. except for us, because we're busy, we have to work. Yes. We have to work no matter what time, what day. But don't worry, I'll take you up to heaven. I won't leave you behind. Thank you, Master. Even if you don't have enough time to meditate, but don't be lazy. Don't make excuse. Yes. yes. That's not a guarantee sign, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, guarantee bill. Sign is German. Yeah. Guarantee uh, bill is not, okay? You still need to be sincere and do as much as you can. Yes, Master. Mm-hmm. So that also not to burden me, because I have a lot of work, you know. Yes. Today the squirrel come again and jump in on top of the roof all the time just wow. to get my attention. Mm-hmm. And then I say, what now? And <laughs> she told me, what, what? I said, all right. I knew it already. My God. <laughs> <laughs> because inside, you know, the the protectors already told me. They say, don't, don't bring dogs to you. I miss my dogs so much, and I love them so much. I was toying, you know, with the idea <laughs> to bring them. Just have a look at least, but they keep telling me, don't, don't, because they will disturb your peace. Of course, I know meditation is uh, crucial right now, and, and in, in retreat, you should not see any one of your relatives and friends. Yeah. I just miss my dogs because they are missing me. That's the problem. If only I miss them, then that's uh, easy. Yes. It's just they love me more than I love them, I have to say the truth. Mm-hmm. They miss me more than I miss them. Because I'm busy. Yes. yes. Yeah, I have things to do, I'm distracted somehow. But the poor dogs, they have nothing to do. Yes. They cook up in, in the room all day, except when they go out with the girls and all that. And, 
and I cannot even see how they treat them apart from just the report every couple two or three days. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, when I first left, and I say report every day, but later on, because it's a almost like routine, so I say report, you know, every two three days, unless emergency, yeah. Yes. So I have to just rely on that, on whatever they have written to me. I don't know how my dog fare over there. And my heart don't feel peace. Yeah. Yes. Because I uh, I adopted them when they had no one. I yanked them out of the jaw of death, you know. Yeah. yeah. And I am the only one that they they can trust. Yeah, they feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because before, whenever whoever come, they bark and bark, you know. Yeah. Uh, except the one who who are around me and take care of them with me. Mm-hmm. Everybody else he bark bark less or bark more. It depends on the person's aura and and, mm-hmm. and intention. And they know who is good for me, who is not. Whoever not good for me, they keep barking until they, they, they have no more voices. <laughs> so later I have to invite that person out or don't come back again when the dog's around. Yeah. Anyway, and just because nobody else in the whole world loves me that much. Yeah. Yes. Also, and this love is just what makes me feel uncomfortable when I don't take care of them. Yeah. Yes. I love their love, uh, but they miss me so much, and sometimes it's pulling, yeah, mm-hmm. pulling me. And I tempted to ask them to bring them over to see me, you know. Yes. But then uh, they all tell me not, and it's not the first time they told me not to see the dog. Mm-hmm. And I just have to be patient, okay? I did see them a few times during retreat, yes. because after the the other dog died. I worry they for so miserable and hurt, you know. So I came and comforted them. And one of the caretakers also crying, Oh, oh he died, blah, blah, blah. I say, hey, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm supposed to cry, not you. Uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, they love also the dog. One of the caretakers, very emotional. Uh, Latin American people, they are emotional, yeah? Mm-hmm. Very yeah. sentimental people, yeah. Uh, when I first uh, went to Costa Rica and Mexico to lecture, and before I left, they all crying like, oh, like babies, you know? <laughs> yeah, like baby without milk. And I said, why are you crying so much? And some of them said, oh, you're leaving, feel like something cut a part of, of me. Oh, wow. Cut their flesh away, a part of them. That's how they felt. My God, it's terrible, and it's so difficult for me to, to live at that time. Yes. They're very, very uh, sentimental, yeah, people. Yeah. Uh, and I just feel so sorry for my dogs, that's all. Yes, Master. Having uh, me, but lately not often be able to see me at all, and, and in time of their trouble, I'm not even there. I just feel... Responsible. I feel so bad. Mm-hmm. After the dog died, I have not recovered yet. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, the small one tell me that uh, the bigger black dog is uh, lonely. <laughs> oh. Even though she has a mother uh, near, next door, you know, they have just a transparent plastic uh, divider between them. Yeah. Yes. So the mother is next door, she's next door, but she still feels lonely. I think she's more attached to me than other dogs. Mm-hmm. Because she's a loner, you know? <laughs> she doesn't get on well with other dogs also. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe that's why. And she loves me so much that she dare to pee and poo in the house mm-hmm. if I don't listen to her advice. <laughs> yeah. So last time when she told me, Somebody is in love with me, and uh, I should not fall in love with him, yeah? Yes. yes. I said, well, thank you. And then whatever happened, whoever fall in love with me, you cannot just pee poo in my house <laughs> just for that. I forbid it, okay? So next time she came back, I say, is that guy still in love with me, yeah? She said, yes. I said, don't you dare pee in the house. <laughs> so she didn't do it then, you know. She's the bravest one. She don't care if I uh, scold at her or threaten not to see her again and all that. I'll reprimand her. She just did what she had to do, what she wanted to do. 
just to warn me of this and that and others, yeah? Mm-hmm. Imagine, yeah? So so brave and so selfless, yeah? Okay. Yes. Even just one guy in love with me, she peed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they took her all the long way to pee on the road already. Uh. Yeah, they pee already before they came back to the house, and then they pee all the way from my place already. So how can she keep some just to come into my house <laughs> to, to present it to me like that? Yeah, yeah. Immediately she came in and she just, you know, like pinned down on the floor, and there you go. Yeah. Uh, I cannot stop it. It's so quick. <laughs> she didn't even let me, you know, uh, beware or anything. Uh, immediately inside the door and... <laughs> and uh, oh, my God. And that's her thing. She did that all the time. Not often, thank God, but whenever there is some major thing, she did that. Yeah? When every other dog already stopped since long, they don't dare anymore. Before. The latest one was the small one. But she also gave up because I scolded her so much, yeah? <laughs> but this one, persistent up to now, she don't give up on me, okay? Wow. I haven't got a, a chance to see why they don't want me to see my dog. Of course, it's a retreat. I should not. I should only concentrate inside, you know? Everything else is just, it's, uh, it's not important anyway. It's just that their emotion, their love, they keep pulling me sometimes when I have time, or when I see dogs on TV. Yes. <laughs> they don't give me good things to eat, but they make me edit those uh, groovy, uh, drooly uh, uh, pizza, and you know, those uh, recipes <laughs> <laughs> on the show, yeah? Yes. In the show. Yeah, yeah. And I have nothing like that. Oh. I keep having to, to, to see all that. <laughs> yeah. mm, what I mean is, it's not me who think of that. It just presented to me, and it's not about me that think of the dogs. It's them uh-huh. that is very much attached to me, and they have nothing much to do except just eat and sleep and go for a walk and come back. Yes. yes. Or they have SMTV, of course, but uh, I'm not sure if they're interested in that. The only one interested in that and in in any TV is Benny. It's the only one that oh. sit and watch TV. Oh. <laughs> he really sat and watch TV. Wow, so <laughs> and sometimes he went behind the TV to see if there's somebody <laughs> behind. <laughs> oh. I said, Benny, you know, it's just movie. Oh. Yeah, but he went behind sometime, have a look. <laughs> behind the TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he sat and watched uh, for a long time. He can, he can watch all the time. Every other dog hate TV. <laughs> I don't know why. And uh, Happy, Happy told me the TV is not good radiation for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. And for dogs. I said, then you go to the other room. I need to watch. It was a long time ago. You know when I don't have SMTV to do? Then I wasn't sick. I wasn't humiliated. I had no problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I have no SMTV, I'm almost like locked down from the world. Yes. Even though I'm walking around humans and do shopping sometimes, but nobody knew me, and and that was a kind mm. of a relief. Yes, yes. I live like a normal person. Only the people who know you are attached to you and want something from you. Yeah. Outside people, they don't care. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. They just serve me or sell me things, and that's it. Goodbye. They don't want other things that's more valuable than money. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So if I don't uh, have SMTV, I don't have people around, then I live better life. Uh, even in cave or small hut or whatever, I, I never care, yeah? Because it feels just so good, so good anywhere. And in New Land, they have many rooms and houses and all that, I never feel good, <laughs> yeah? Because there's always people around, yeah? Yeah. Even a, a little distant, but there are thousands of people, then mm-hmm. the distance is always shorter. Yeah. Yes. Because the energy is a big group, yes. and, and it's spread out. And they know I'm there, and they're always tugging at me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have to go back to my homework now. <laughs> I have um, a lot more waiting. Thank you for forgiving me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for Thank forgiving you, us. Thank you, Master. Okay. I go, huh? Mm, God bless.
Thank you, Master. We love you, Master. I love you too, guys. <laughs> Thank you for being here in this time of trouble water for our world. God bless you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Master. Thank you. Master. Thank you.